Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam. During this year's Balikatan 2024, participants executed a range of complex missions a part of territorial defense, rapidly moving long range, precision strikes capabilities. Honorable Joseph Clarence Valero from Barangay Poro and Good Night Sir. Sure. Yeah. And also yeah. Mang Annalisa C. Yeah. of McDonald's. Okay, you ready to do this one? So, allow me to express my gratitude to all personnel and parties involved here. We were able to create a place where young minds will blossom, where curiosity will be nurtured, and where dreams will take flight. Not only we were able to demonstrate our solidarity through Balikatan or Bayanihan. Building such a school took the efforts of the U.S. forces, our Australian partners, and of course the armed forces of the Philippines. But this also took the efforts of students, teachers, local school officials, local government officials, and countless others who came together to stand shoulder to shoulder as we all work together to have a positive impact on the lives of the children, students, families, teachers, and the entire community. Finally, after a month, we have returned. We have returned to the site to inaugurate the school building, which serves as a structural symbol of our friendship and alliance, one which stood for decades since World War II, when we fought side by side, shoulder to shoulder, and shared the load together for our common ideals. To our valued partners, friends, and allies from the United States Armed Forces, as well as our proud men and women from the Armed Forces of the Philippines, we express our most sincere, most sincere gratitude for choosing the city of San Fernando as a venue for your Balikatan exercises and for choosing San, Fern San Agustin Poro Elementary School as a beneficiary of the establishment of a two-classroom school building. I am glad that we have the U.S. Army as our friends, as our partners, and as our collaborators not just in the city of San Fernando, but I would like to think in the entire whole province of La Union. And now it is the U.S. Army who's showing their love for La Union. We want to thank you all for making all of this a reality, not just for the government, but also for our dear students and our dear province mates. So I hope that this won't be the last. You are more than welcome to keep coming back here in the city of San Fernando, sinabi ko na mayor, or in the entire province of La Union for you to conduct more of these activities and programs because truly it is for the benefit not just of your organization, not just of our government, but also to all children and next generation of our dear province of La Union. I am Colonel David Fennell, U.S. Commander, Combined Joint Civil Operation Military Task Force based out of Camp Aguinaldo, Manila, Philippines. I am Colonel Armand G. Mampusti from the Philippine Air Force. 
I'm the co-commander for the Combined Joint Civil Military Operations Task Force based off in Camp Aguinaldo. So for me, what's important about the, today is the, the kids in the local community at La Union, the teachers and the principal we just met, um, who are now receiving a new school with new bathroom. They said the, uh, the previous school um, buildings have been shut down because of termites. They had eaten through the, uh, the inside of the, of the wood of the building. And so our, through our, with our Air Force partners, even our Australian partners, and then with our Filipino counterparts, they were able to come in, build a whole new two classrooms with uh, bathrooms and um, and then fill those with chairs and tables and um, the most the coolest thing about that is delivering that to the teachers and children for further future education here in La Union Philippines. Uh, this exhibits what we can do together. Two forces combining together to build the school for the benefit of the community. Build high impact projects that will have long lasting effects in the community. Working with the community, community is uh, really great. It gives us another dimension into how militaries work in the environment where, of course, there is the community there. I think uh, more than anything else, it's the interaction with the community that's very important to this endeavor. And for me, coming in from Manila, uh, Philippines, and driving four and a half hours to La Union, it's seeing the, the local excitement about what this will do for the local community. But then standing here with Colonel Mampusti, driving in here from the capital, it shows that that um, national and that local tie that the, the Philippine national government and those local governments, even neighborhood governments, barangay, they're tied together for a single purpose, which is to make the, the country more secure, to make the country more prosperous, to make the country a place that is uh, that, that is positive for uh, even future generations with the children that are uh, standing here with, with the, at the school today. With the Philippines and the U.S., we are led by civilian government. The military does not lead by dictatorship. We are led by civilian government, and the military is here in service of the people. Uh, to secure the people, to make the people prosperous, that's how it is in the United States, that's how it here, here is in the Philippines. So when we partner here together, it is very natural that we would come together in service for the Filipino people, and that the, the people would see their AFP and then their U.S. partners come in and do something that is beneficial for the communities here before we ever look out there. In the real world scenario, our forces, both our forces will be uh, given the chance to work with uh, communities on the ground. If we work together somewhere else, this will bring us closer. This is an experience that we would like to bring to the communities that we will be working in. Well, I can only uh, hope that we can make uh, HCA, the Humanitarian Civic Action Line of Effort, more bigger. I think uh, placing uh, a few other activities like humanitarian assistance and disaster response activities where we can build resiliency in the communities, may enable them, capacitate them in uh, uh, disaster response scenarios, disaster response uh, activities, uh, humanitarian engagements and of course health, help, then definitely this will benefit us the long term. I think uh, moving forward that's the best direction that I can see HEA or CIGIC motive going. I, I see this as the beginning. It's only going to get stronger. I think our partnership is, is growing and developing because of mutual interests and because of the shared heart and, um, and a shared story. And Beginning today, it'll just get stronger tomorrow. It will certainly get stronger in 25. And I hope to be back here personally. I would be happy to bring my family out here on vacation to the beautiful people, to the beautiful country. Colonel Ampusti promises me that he'll have a place for me if I bring my family out yeah, here. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. No problem, I will host you. <laughs> Best HEA or CIGIC motive task force ever. Sorry. This is my first one, so I would agree. <laughs>